Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us today for our fourth BioVendor webinar. My name is Veronika Greshakova, and I'll be the speaker today. Firstly, please let me start with a brief introduction of myself. I started at the BioVendor Group in July 2020 as a product manager for microRNA portfolio. I have a master's degree in molecular biology with a focus on human genetics, and I also successfully finished my PhD studies from pediatrics, where I was actually more focused on, on uh, primary research and proteomics. Today's webinar will tell you a story about microRNA molecules and how they used to be underestimated, but the recent studies and discoveries set them under the scientific spotlight, as their involvement in essential processes is being described further. This story of microRNA starts back in 1993, where the scientist Victor Ambrose and his group were studying the embryological and larval development of a worm C. elegans, and they accidentally ident identified the first microRNA molecules. They briefly described their function as the RNA antisense with the regulation capabilities. And it took next 15 years until the scientists really became interested in these microRNA molecules. MicroRNAs are short, non-coding RNA molecules, which are encoded by genomic DNA. They play a key role in many regulatory functions, such as cell differentiation, development, or homeostasis. Due to their involvement in all of these processes, their cellular levels rapidly respond to any changes, like inflammation or tumorigenesis. These features and characteristics of microRNA draw a lot of attention of scientists in the last decade, and their hard work brings success by a detailed description of microRNA regulatory and silencing mechanisms. As I already mentioned, microRNAs are very stable in biofluids, and they've been revealed as novel but highly promising biomarkers. They might also serve as targets for novel therapeutic approach. Circulating microRNAs can differentiate between various diseases, and not only that, Specific signature of these short molecules may distinguish between stages of the disease and they can even prognose the ultimate disease outcome. Investigation of microRNAs as novel biomarkers led scientists already to many valuable publications, as you can see on our slide. The potential of microRNAs as biomarkers is reflected by the figure on the right. You can see that various microRNAs and their expression impairment could be detected in different human systems and diseases. MicroRNA profiling might be a valuable tool also for primary researchers as they are crucial for gene regulation. Their involvement in a developmental transition and cell differentiation makes them an ideal target for screening in development biology. MicroRNA orchestrates all important signaling pathways, and so their interaction network might contribute to the quality of the study very well. In diagnostics, 
microRNA profiling might help with identification of a tumor sample origin. They serve as the prognose markers in many pathological prognosis and diagnosis. Uh, they are they also might help to improve the success of targeted early diagnosis. But microRNA profiling carries several challenges with it. First of all, microRNAs are extremely short in length and no commercial primers would work for them. Then, they also lack any common sequences like a poly A tail in messenger RNA. They have extremely variable GC content, which can trigger and trouble the polymerase reaction as such. Matured single-stranded microRNAs can be very similar amongst each other, and they also are contained in the original precursor of microRNAs. And not only that the terminal nucleotides place the heterogeneity, they also have various biochemical modifications. There is also a family of microRNAs which are called isomers, which differs only at the very end. So it's either 5' prime isomer or a 3' prime isomer, and the rest of the sequence, sequence is identical. To properly distinguish between this level of similarity, the procedure must be extremely sensitive and specific. To cover the problem with the short length of microRNAs, many competitors use artificial, unspecific prolongation sequence in their protocols. You can see that the first procedure uses RT primer with a very short specific part, which is then actually used as a template for PCR reverse primer. That means that whatever is transcribed at the first level, it will be universally used for a template for qPCR. The second approach is using attachment of a poly A tail with unspecific reverse transcription primer. Similarly to the third protocol where they use even the universal qPCR primer. All three methods sacrifice the specificity on behalf of sensitivity, which means that they actually might measure even those sequences which are extremely similar and differ only in one or two nucleotides. And this is where BioVendor makes a difference. BioVendor's two-tailed RTQPCR uses a specific microRNA RT primers, which are characterized by the microRNA complement regions at the both ends, the 5' prime and the 3' prime of the primer, with specific hemiprobe design to ensure the recognition of only single-stranded major microRNA, which is fully complementary in the sequence. So, the specific reverse transcription is followed by the qPCR cycle. This qPCR is also guided by specific primers for a reverse and the forward strand of the cDNA. Usage of these specific primers ensures the superior specificity of a two-tailed PCR. Specific hemiprobic structure of a primers ensures the sensitivity of the assay. As you can see on the upper picture, the 5' complementary segment contributes to the sensitivity by reduction of a 
interaction in case of not fully complementary microRNA sequence. The same, the same mechanism is also involved in contribution to the specificity of the assay because as you can see the five prime complementary segment significantly reduce the detection capability of the assay even in the presence of a single nucleotide change another feature that verifies the remarkable sensitivity of this assay is a high dynamic range when the detection limit of two-tailed pcr is starting at less than 10 molecules in a sample therefore we decided to challenge our technique the most and the results of a comparison study are remarkable they clearly verify the superior specificity of a two-tailed PCR. This experiment compared the detection overlap among the members of a LAT7 microRNA superfamily, which usually differs in only one or two nucleotides. You can see that the smaller difference in sequences, the higher interreactivity is present, mostly seen in the assays using unspecific primers in their protocol. Our team of specialists have verified the two-tailed PCR at variety of samples. The best established is measurement of microRNAs in plasma or serum, but it's also possible to use other biofluids, cells, or tissue samples. As the developers of the method, we like to adjust this system based on our customers' needs. Two-tailed RTQ-PCR method consists of two main reactions. After the RNA isolation from the sample of your choice, reverse transcription takes place. That means that you only need to combine the solution from an RT master mix vial with the RT enzyme and your RNA sample. Then you proceed with the qPCR, and so you only need to dilute the cDNA from the previous reverse transcription uh, reaction, and you combine it with the PCR master mix and run the PCR itself. Yes, it is that simple, and you could receive your results within three hours. You only need a standard laboratory equipment like a centrifuge, regular thermocycler, and a real-time system. To summarize it, two-tailed PCR is a novel, robust, and quantitative method based on a PCR platform. It is highly specific and sensitive with a wide dynamic range. It's a unique system of a hemispheric RT primers and it identifies only matured microRNA. It requires only general laboratory equipment. And right now we have more than 20 ready to go microRNA kits, but we have optimized the development of this method so the production of a new detection kits on demand is welcomed. There is one more quantification approach which I would like to quickly introduce to you today. It is called MIREA and it stands for a microRNA enzyme immunoassay. Its main principle is based on, based on a direct hybridization of a microRNA with a complementary single-stranded biotinylated DNA molecules. Both, they together create a double-stranded heterodimer, which is particularly identified and bound to the specific antibody.
This antibody is attached to the microtiter plate, and after it captures this hybrid molecule, the incubation with the proper substrate enables to quantify the microRNA concentration. Mirea is a hybridization method, and in comparison with commercially available qPCR kits, it has a great correlation with the PCR results. Very interesting is its low interassay coefficient of variations, which means that the repetitive measurements exhibited very similar results. Mirea kit offers complete composition of necessary elements needed for an assay. It includes or internal controls, buffers, substrates, and solutions. It's run at a prepared and antibody coated microplate, and you only need to add your samples. The protocol is slightly more challenging compared to the previous one, but anybody familiar with ELISA protocol will find it eventually very simple. And even in this case, the requirements for instruments include only the basic and generally used machines. So, Mirea is a novel very sensitive method based on ELISA platform. It has very low coefficient of variation between repetitive runs, and it doesn't involve any amplification steps with errors included. It is very user-friendly, and it has very attractive price per sample. Right now, we have over 40 different kits available, and we are always willing to develop new ones for our KIST customers based on their interest. Both of these methods, Tutel PCR as well as Mireya, are very user friendly and they have very low technical requirements, but not all of our customers have their own running laboratories. And therefore, we offer our BioVendor Analytical Testing Service. This is a very optimized product, which can include all steps, except for the sample collection, or it can provide support for only those steps which are necessary. Anything from the project design through isolation of microRNA, the quantification method itself, to its data analyzing. Based on our customers' needs, we will develop the tool or essay for microRNA of their interest and help and guide them throughout the whole procedure. BioVendor offers a complete solution for its customers. We have developed not only an effective assay for microRNA, but we are the first who offers the solution for quantification of a related family of short, non-coding RNAs called PV interacting RNAs. We offered verified products for individual RNA molecules or complete panels for expression profiling. We have our own team of specialists who are experienced in designing new primers and origos for any microRNA molecule of your interest with known sequence. I believe that together we can carry out the vision of accelerating the transfer of novel microRNA biomarkers from basic research to the clinical practice. If you require any further information, please do not hesitate to contact me or my colleagues. I'm always here at your service and I'm open to any discussion and communications needed. And now I would like to thank you so much for your attention and I'm looking forward to your questions.